Hey there, folks. Scottsdale Travel Chick Sidekick here to tell you about our trip and what to do on Bohol Island in the Philippines. Bohol is a lesser known destination in the Philippines, but don't let that discourage you. It's up and coming, has lots of things to see and do, and not yet overrun with tourists. First of all, where is Bohol? Bohol is in the central Visayas, which are basically the central part of the Philippines archipelago. And Bohol is the 10th largest island in all the Philippines and also contains 75 other islands within its province. You can get to Bohol by either airplane from the capital city of Manila or by ferry from Cebu and a number of other nearby islands. For this video, we'll cover both Bohol and its smaller sister island, Panglao, which are connected by bridges and where the main airport is for both islands. I'm just going to call them both Bohol for the purpose of this video. Okay, let's get going. There are plenty of things to do, but they are a little spread out. So our first recommendation is to rent a scooter and explore on your own. Most hotels will set you up with one. The roads are not very busy and the people are really nice, so it will be a pleasant experience, I promise you. We set up our home base at the Lobok River Resort. It's a great little hotel where they're basically little bungalows right on the river. We highly recommend this place. It's very central, they had a great breakfast every morning, and there are actually plenty of things to do directly from the hotel. Here you can see a list of free things you can do, and also things you can do for a fee. There's also a swinging bridge and small village right next door to explore. You can rent kayaks, and one of the best excursions on the entire island leaves directly from here every night for a nighttime firefly cruise. We'd really recommend that as well. Such a beautiful morning here in the Philippines. The rain has disappeared for a bit. And we are walking to breakfast. Little cottages here. These are all on the water. These are not. You should choose the ones that are on the water. And in the morning, there's not a lot of people having breakfast. Here. Good morning. So let's jump right in to the sites you should hit on a couple of days exploring the island. Our first scooter tour will cover the primary sites on the main island of Bohol. Bohol Ponglao are popular for snorkeling and diving and also whale watching in season, but in addition to these water activities, it's most famous for their chocolate hills and targeres, the world's smallest primate. You're going to hit those sites on this tour. First up is Lobok Eco Adventure Park. They have some river activities here and a cable car which will take you across the river gorge, but you really have to cross the river like the Scottsdale Travel Chick did, by zip line. Just like your arm. Oh Did she have to go over, but she had to come back again. Oh my god! Oh. Oh.
After all that excitement, your next stop is a little bit lower key, the Balar Man-Made Forest. It's actually not even a stop as much as it is a drive-through site. It's basically two kilometers of driving through a man-made mahogany forest. There are some places you can stop and do some short hikes, but it's unique in all the Philippines. There's nowhere else like it. This is the mahogany forest. Next up is one of the top sites on all of Bohol, the Targer Sanctuary Area. Targers are the world's smallest primate and weigh only 5 ounces. They originally inhabited rainforests around the world for more than 45 million years, but now very few exist anywhere on Earth, only on a few islands in the Philippines, Borneo, and Indonesia. In Bohol, the Targer was a common site until the 1960s when their protected rainforest and mist-shrouded hills started to be destroyed. Now they struggle to survive within only a couple of designated sanctuaries on the island. Looking at the Targer right over there. Can't see him now, his head's turned. I know. Interesting fact, did you know the Targer was used by Steven Spielberg and George Lucas as the inspiration for both E.T. and Yoda? Perhaps the most famous site on the island are the Chocolate Hills of Bohol. The hills, which look like giant molehills, are considered an unusual geological formation and there are at least 1,200 mounds scattered throughout the central part of the island around the town of Carmen. In the dry season, the hills turn brown, making them look like giant chocolate mounds. Hence the name. There are a number of places in the area to explore, but there is this one popular hill here where most people stop to get their picks. Finally, there is one more site we'd recommend which is really off the tourist path, Mama Maria Summit or the Virgin of Guadalupe. This place was recommended to us by a local who said the summit here had the best views on the whole island. Half the fun was actually getting there on our scooter and yes, the views were awesome. this path that's pretty steep and then we have this beautiful view from the top and over here overlooks the river and it was quite a steep hill to come up here I don't recommend it for everyone. Incredible. Lastly, 
we took a quick drone shot with my old drone, which isn't very good, and I didn't really capture the horizon. But you can get the idea here. It's a great view on the top of a really nice summit. Well, that's it for our first round of sights to see on Bohol. Beyond the sights themselves, we simply had a lot of fun driving around the countryside and experiencing the people. Stay tuned and check out our next video on our second round of sights to see and things to do on Ponglao Island, Bohol's little sister. On that scooter adventure, we'll visit a cave filled with bats, explore some nice beaches, visit a bee farm, and more. Be sure to check it out. Until next time, see you later.